the myth that I'm going to bust is about uh, mobile pennies. And aren't we so lucky? Because mobile um, has a lot of time spent, but at the moment, not a lot of money from advertising backing it up. And we all know that if you've been in the digital space for a while, this is what the chart used to look like for the web five, 10 years ago. And we've done a really good job. We caught up, and a lot of credit to the IAB for helping to create guidelines to get us there. How do we close this gap for mobile? Well, if you look at the, uh, the far left, I guess it is, time spent on print compared to the amount of money spent against print. Let's keep our attention in that area, because there's something interesting. We talk a lot about TV. Sure, there's a lot of time spent on TV, and there's a ton of money being spent on TV. But look at that ratio. Why? There's something going on there. 2006, ad networks for mobile. Awesome. You could buy all over the place with these awesome looking ads or send text messages. It was fantastic. No, it actually has turned out to not be so fantastic because the conversation about mobile is all about distributed, very small direct response messages. And direct response and distributed ad networks are typically cheap pricing. So what's gotten in the way of growing this business is an over-orientation on I will pay this much for that, which doesn't give a lot of room to explore other things that might be more meaningful. Personal prime time, we heard that earlier. I think Anna was talking about like the sense of prime time. What's more personal than that thing that you have with you 24 hours a day? There is a deeper relationship. There is a deeper engagement. And at this relatively early phase, we should do ourselves a service and figure out what are the other things that we're going to measure in here. Because those things, they might be a little bit more expensive up front but they will actually continue to reward the marketer and the consumer over time. So beating a dead horse, this is where banner ads typically are appearing in app, which, terrific, we are pissing off consumers in the mobile landscape, just like we have on the internet, interrupting their consumer experience, giving a marketer a minimal window within which to communicate, not very much, except for maybe a direct response. Um, we saw this uh, at Flipboard, and we decided, no, we don't want banners advertising marketing messages to be an interruptive experience within the consumer's experience of content. So within content on Flipboard, we decided that ads should be native. I'm going to use native in a different way. Native to the platform, native to the layout, kind of like print, where the marketer has a full window within which to communicate. It has to be fast. These were predominantly people connecting on Wi-Fi and maybe a cafe where you're sharing Wi-Fi with a ton of other people so you can't have a massive download. Or maybe on your own uh, you know, cell connection and you don't have a great connection. It has to be fast and potentially beautiful. But there was a lot out there, right? Thanks to Mary Meeker for uh, another Power Pack presentation with data. Nine times more bits of information shared um, in the last five years. Along with that, what are we doing? A ton more advertising. So we have an infinite amount of content that you can consume and an infinite amount of ads, ultimately, that you could if we follow the things that we did on the web. Oh, we're not making enough money. Put two more ads on the page. Obviously, we're getting away from that now. But we should get completely away from that when we envision how we market and communicate within web spaces. What is the most important thing? Well, this is a truth no matter where you're advertising, but particularly in these relatively small personal devices, your attention. Your attention is the most important thing. And when I have your attention, what if I could make advertising beautiful? Now I really have your attention. That is simple. That is gorgeous photography. That is flexible typography. Boiling it down, it's not screaming at you. It's not bouncing in front of you. You're going to pause. 